And we're back with uh, Zoo Tycoon 2 again. Uh, this is still our uh, Wolverton Animal Rehabilitation Center, something like that. I don't know exactly. Uh, you know, I, I don't need to pay that much attention to what the zoo is called, only uh, what we need to do. Wolverton Center. Mm, close enough. And uh, here we are. Since we hit two stars, we got this fancy new front gate. Uh, which is one of the things in Zoo Tycoon 2, when you get higher star levels, your um, your front gate changes to be more grand and, you know, uh, generally cool. Oh, that's interesting. See this? You can see the sun behind the... That's interesting. Uh, anyway, so currently our goal is to get to um, three stars. And we're at two of three stars, so, you know, that's, uh, logically, that's two-thirds of the way done. And, uh, we still don't have Stone Path, Ooh, but I do want to... African Spurred Tortoise 2 is gonna lay an egg? Well, I can be distracted briefly, just, <clears throat> just for a second. Uh, I am feeling a little under the weather, uh, today, but I thought I'd, you know, come on and do this. Anyways, probably, because I'm not used to this cold Swedish air as it is, or possibly Norwegian, you know, it's it's right on the border between Norway and Sweden, you know, it's, it's like right there, so honestly, who knows, it could be the one, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, also, the capital of Norway, uh, Oslo, is like right next to, is like, it's on the border, pretty much, uh, so you know, for all I know, this zoo could be an Oslo Zoo. I mean, it's a little small for, um, you know, a capital city type zoo. You know, usually you're, you know, they've got big, giant zoos. Like, yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't really know what I'm talking about. I've never been to Oslo. But, um, yep. She's just taking her sweet time, going to lay the egg. Turtle egg. And we have baby turtles. Always cute. I mean, really, even adult turtles are cute. I mean, look at it. How it moves. Little feet. Anyway, we probably have other things we can be doing. Um, I, I did purchase a penguin. Alright. It's pretty happy, but it could use a friend. Is there anything else that I need that could use a friend? I don't think so. Yeah, we've got grizzly bear and moose in the crate there. Uh, I don't want... Ooh, Komodo Dragon. That's 5,000. I'm going to create a small Komodo Dragon exhibit, and I'm probably only going to have one. And it's probably going to be, like, directly attached, like, right there. Uh, but I'll do that in the future. Right now, I want to put my Emperor Penguin. Excellent. Emperor Penguin 2. And look, this one's swimming around. Oh, perfect. He can get out of the water easily. Or, yeah, this one's the he... No, that one's she, and this one's he. Alright. I don't really pay attention to these things. It doesn't really matter. They are, after all, only animals. I mean, you know, I, I love my animals, of course, but, uh, you know, they're not gonna... They don't care. They don't speak English, for one thing. At least I hope they don't. Ugh. You should be a little disturbing if it turns out my animals can understand. Ah. I really like my new discovery kiosk. I mean, it's not new anymore, but I still like it. African Spurred Tortoise has finally laid an egg. All the oh, wow, three eggs. That is impressive. And of course, unlike in the um, unlike in the wild, all three of these eggs will obviously survive. You know, there aren't any natural predators in this environment in this exhibit. And so I will have three baby African Spurred Tortoises, which unfortunately won't increase my number of species, but it will increase my number of animals, somewhat significantly. Um, and then once those grow up, I can release them to the wild, and that will get me permanent zoo fame. At least wild, of course. These tortoises, they are vulnerable, so, you know, more than nothing, but not that much. Oh, May is almost over. Okay. Thursday, May 31st. <sighs> I could also potentially expand this beaver exhibit. North America. 
Or I can make a new wetlands. Ex oh, well, uh, hang on. Let's see, Bongo. Let's see, I don't. Hmm. Oh, I was going to make a Galapagos giant tortoise exhibit over here. I was going to do that. These are both scrub. Um, but I don't really know how I feel about putting a giant carnivorous monitor lizard in with, you know, an endangered species of giant turtle tortoise. So I think maybe I'm going to pass on that one. But I think I will go ahead and start on the Galapagos giant tortoise exhibit because... Uh, well, you know, just just because. Now, will this be large enough? I don't think so. That's a little too small. Um, but this should be fine, probably, maybe. Moose 4 has just grown from young to adult. That is excellent news. Bye, Moose 4. Enjoy your time in the wild. Goodbye, Moose 4. All right, excellent. We have now released our first animal to the wild. Moose 1 still has one child. That's Moose 3. Uh, but this means that we can now take Moose 2 and put him back in the exhibit. Excellent. And now we can make more baby mooses. Get more released to wild fame. See, look at... Wow, that's actually even more than I would expect it, just for one. Uh, obviously I'm not complaining, but I'm a little surprised because money has gone all the way back down to the bottom. That's not really an issue. That still doesn't look like it's going to be enough, but I can always try it and then expand the exhibit as need be later. Um, I'm not too worried about, you know, my Galapagos tortoises rampaging. And Moose 3! Moose 3? Male moose, obviously. Hence the antlers. And, um... Goodbye, Moose 3. We've enjoyed having you in our zoo. We really have. But it's time for you to make it in the wild now. I wished I could go to the wild! Of course, our zebras will go just a little bit later. Ooh, yikes. Stimulation critical? And rest critical and exercise. These guys are not happy. I'll give them, let's see, the scratching post or the salt lick. Uh, these guys can also use the salt lick. These guys also use the salt lick. And, yeah, so it's the salt lick that we're going to research. Uh, now, where was I? Oh, yes, Galapagos tortoise. Um, actually... You know, I maybe I should have thought of this earlier, but I actually want to use the low chain link fence. Yeah, it is going to cost me money to replace this, obviously. Um, but I just feel like it works better for the fact that there are there little. What about these guys? Yeah, eventually I I will also use low for the Komodo dragon. Um, you know, I really, I really do think that a lot of these animals are smaller than they should. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's, I don't know. So the Komodo dragon looks okay, but like, you know, like I've already talked about the moose, and then later, like some of the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs just look a little small. And you know, that's that's fun. Ah, excellent! Two and a half stars. We're on our way. Uh, first and most importantly, animals. I, I want the flamingos, but but ultimately, I can't really fit anything else in there. I might get rid of the beaver and put the flamingos in instead, change that to an African exhibit. I don't know. For now, we're just going to get rid of the flamingos. That We want that. We want that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Okay. Those okapi might be nice with some other things. They're very easy to care for. Um, get some food. I'll get some grass. I'll just put the, the food stuffs over here. Of course, we know that turtles take a while to go places. Oh, and then, yeah, other things. Other things. Uh, we've already got large restrooms and compost buildings. 
Speaking of which, I'm going to go see if my compost building has stuff that I can get rid of. It does not. But Moose 1 is now pregnant. Excellent, Moose 1. You have done well. Alright, I'm just going to put the salt lick kind of like over there. And then I'm also going to give them one. I don't think my Oryxes need one. Because I just spent $600, $640, and uh, I don't really need it. Yeah, see, what they want is privacy, and I will give that to them. So I'm going to spend even more money than the salt lick would have cost me, uh, but I'll survive. Ultimately, you know, I want what's best for my animals, even if that hits me a bit in the budget. Uh, but, you know, say la vie, eh? Let's see, Ra reptile pool, we're not going to spend money on that. And none of this. Uh, I will give them a uh, small rock. And I will definitely give them some plants. So these plants, the prickly pear cactus, are native to, among other places. Uh, I mean, prickly pear cactuses are not uncommon. This says South America, but you can find them all up and down the coast of the west, whatever coast, I don't remember. Ah! I forgot. I, oh well. Hippopotamus. How expensive? Seven thousand five hundred dollars? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, but anyway, Galapagos tortoise. As soon as we've got enough money. Oh, path. Still no good. Oh well. Maybe more playground equipment. I could get a reindeer bouncy ride. 300. Nice holiday theme in June. Always appreciated. Gorilla climbing bars. None of these, of course, really match up with the animals I have in my zoo. American Beaver 1 needs more space. Oh, do I have the beaver sticks now? No, no sticks. Maybe I could get one of these music rocks. Let's see. Or I could get this one for vastly cheaper. I mean, I'd have to research it for 600 They're both the same price. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll just kind of put it back here. Yep. Let's check on my baby tortoises. Hatched. Why is it red? That doesn't seem good. So usually it's... I mean... So like, for instance... Oh, wrong one. Like, when they're pregnant, it's green. Up to a certain point, and then it turns red when it's, like, when they're, like, about to give birth. And usually for the hatch timer, it's the same. It's green, and then it turns red when they're about to hatch. The fact that it's red now is just a little weird. I'm not sure. I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's like warning me, like warning your baby tortoises are about to die. That'd be particularly ironic, especially since I said they were in no danger. Oh, look, they're talking. Or something. I don't know. I guess turtles don't talk. Tortoises. They're grazing. Ah, out to dinner again. Oh, dear. Is there water? Unhappy. Gotta clean that. Ever Penguin 1 is now pregnant. Did they mate in the water? I mean, you know. You do you. Ooh, 3,000. Is that enough for my Galapagos tortoise? I think it is. Now, do I want a male or a female? I don't suppose it matters. But, the males are bigger. But I want... So I definitely want a larger Komodo dragon. So I'll get the female Galapagos giant tortoise. Is that enough space? It is enough space. Going to investigate the grass. Guests need more places to rest. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, I was also going to build a guest area right there. Uh, I will start working on that. Okay, but I am going to start working on this right now. Oh, that's, that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna put another one. Okay, well... That's fine. I'll just do it like this. Uh-huh. So that's the Malay's to bread. 
Oh, they really don't have anywhere to rest. They, well, they've got that over there. That doesn't count, I don't think. I'll put one... Let's see, is that going to mess up the path? It is, I don't like that. No, 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 that's not what I want. I want to pick this one up. Oh, did it? Oh, okay. Then we're square. Oh, she doesn't like that it's expensive. <sighs> yeah, because I put it on expensive so I could get more money. Well, that's not going to change anytime soon. Because I need money. I'm in need of money. What I need is money. And I'm making a lot of money, and I do appreciate that. But I need it. I can't afford to not be making this much money. I think we're just going to go with hot dog. Oh, wait. What do we have over here? I don't want two of the same thing. Ah, rats. We have hot dog and soda right there, too. What do you mean, guess any more places to rest? I just gave him more places to rest. Okay. It's just taken him a while to realize that I've given them... What about sub food stand? $400 and then $300. Let's see. Are these all the same? Probably. And then coffee? Mmm. -hmm. I think that's probably what we'll do. Oh, that costs 600. Or water drink stand. You know, I'm a big fan of water. So we're going to do that one. And then, you know what? I know this is uh, Sweden, but they must eat hamburgers in Sweden. I mean, I know that's mostly like a you know, classically an American thing, but you know what? I'm American. So when I build this zoo, I give these nice, good, nice Swedes, I give them hamburgers. So that they can sample my American cuisine. How are you doing? Ah! Oh my goodness! How did you get so dirty? Much better. I do think it's probably time for me to buy a second zookeeper. Although I am worried, yeah, the poop is starting to pile up in these exhibits. I now have seven exhibits, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's time for another zookeeper. It's five hundred dollars a month, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Keeper Bebbington, that's fine. Water drink stand. Oh, yeah, uh, I knew, I knew that. I remembered. Uh, I remember that. I'm gonna put this one like here. And hamburger food stand. I'm gonna put this one right. Okay, hang on. Okay, so we want it to look. Oh, rats. Yep, okay, so we want it to look like this. Emperor Penguin 1 is going to lay an egg. Where is it? Oh, wait, I can just barely see it. It's like in the Arctic moss, which I guess is understandable if you want to keep it warm. And of course, you know, unlike in real life, they, they don't carry it around in their little pouches. Of course, it's probably not necessary. I, I wonder how cold this exhibit really is. You know, I've got snow in here, but ah, famous again. All right, so I don't want the cheetah. That's I like cheetahs, but they're too difficult. Kangaroos are a definite possibility. Hippos are too expensive. The okapis are nice, but zebras, we've already got several zebras. Aardvark, I like the aardvark. It's an African animal. I might create an aardvark wildebeest double exhibit. Um, we've already got a savannah exhibit right there. But... Oh, I should have declined this tortoise, too. Because I'm, I'm only planning on having one. Social is satisfied. Uh, did I get a second zookeeper? Yes, that's Keeper of Abington. I remember. And now to finish this off. Uh, oh, I don't really like how that happened, but I'll live with it. Alright, if we could, um, if we could calm down with the going back and forth, you know, just, just settle. Just decide. Just realize that I have at least a two and a half star zoo and just, just roll with it, you know? Okay. These ones are just going to be picnic tables. I'm going to put one. Well. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm going to put. 
Now I'll put one there, and then one there, yep. They're gonna need a recycling bin for their waters. And a trash bin for their hamburger wrappers. Or, you know, if they don't, if they decide that in fact they're too Swedish to eat good classic American food, then they don't have to eat their whole hamburger, they can throw the rest of it away. Which, you know, I'll, I'll be a little disappointed and a little bit sad, but all in all, I'll, I'll survive. I'll, I'll manage to, you know, not be too judgmental if they don't eat their whole hamburger. I mean, sometimes I get a hamburger and it's larger than I want, and, you know, th they threw their trash on the gr Ah! What? I, I gave them a recycling bit. Better do it. Okay. Alright. I guess whoever threw their water bottle on the ground was just a terrible person. You know, that's that's the only explanation. What? The zoo isn't amusing enough? What? Do you, what, 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 what? Oh, I need more restrooms. I do need another restroom, and I will put that. I will put that right here. Yep. Uh, excuse me. All right, I'm gonna put it right here. Hang on, I'll I'll figure that out in a second. Ah, common zebra. Social is critical. Is that because there's too many animals or what? Ah, uh, I want to release this to the wild, but ultimately. That may just not be possible. See, this one's fine. Common Zebra 3 is fine. Why is this one not fine? Ugh, sleeping in the shade. Yeah, social generally means... Yeah, privacy is if they have too many animals, or too many guests, or if they can't hide. Social is if they don't have enough animals... In there, why? Why did rest only go down to pressing? Did not get a good night's sleep. What do you want? A different toy? Do you want a shelter? Maybe? Uh, well, I I don't have space in this exhibit because this exhibit is too small. Whoever made this zoo made this exhibit too small, and I didn't really anticipate that, and I made it. I expanded, and now I don't have any room to expand this exhibit. <clears throat> Ah, which maybe that's my bad, but, you know, say la vie, eh? Okay, uh, I think, well, actually, so I know I made this a place to rest, uh, but I think that was a mistake. Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna, I could always do that. Yeah, I think that's, that's the plan. Besides, you never know, the tortoise might get stuck in that sharp corner, and then where would we be? So yeah, so the restroom is going to go right there. And there's, yeah, well, it's not exactly how I'd like it, but ultimately it doesn't really matter. Okay, what? What is up with these guests not finding my zoo amusing enough? Uh, I already gave them a kiosk, what more do they want? Maybe a fountain? Yeah, maybe a fountain or a statue. Polar bear statue. Ooh, I like this tundra statue. Very Native American design. You know, maybe I could... I don't have any... Well, I have the beaver. Beaver is a, an American... American animal. I could put it, like... Right there. No. Maybe not. See, it says guests love my zoo. Clearly they, they don't. They don't love it enough! Alright, this bad cave. It's a thousand dollars. Never mind. The writer? Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I'm getting them something. Drinking fountain? How about a small fountain? Then I can put it, like, anywhere I want. Like, right there. Won't that be nice? Yes, I think it will. Uh -huh. Are you mad about the price or the fact that the zoo is. Okay. Alright, okay, 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 okay. Uh, I need to make a decision, and I need to make it now! Decision made for $500. Turns out I'm actually a terrible cheapskate. Alright, where's Common Zebra 5? Arrgh! Well, rest is fine, but... 
social is still pressing. We haven't gotten anywhere. What I need to do is make this exhibit. Oh, the research for the small fountain is complete. Maybe now my guests will like my exhibit. I mean, my zoo. I mean, hopefully they like the exhibit as well, but... There, is that, is that good? Will that satisfy all of your worldly desires? Because if not, I don't know what to do next. Yeah. No. Nope. Oh, yeah, like that. Okay. Uh, actually, that's not true. I do know what to do next. I'm gonna put a Komodo dragon. I'm gonna put it in an exhibit, obviously. I'm not gonna just let it run free. Uh, that would be interesting, but ultimately pretty counterproductive, uh, I think. So, hmm. I think, yeah, we're probably just gonna... This is what... 50, 300, that should be straight up, yeah. That should be good enough. Moose 1 is going to give birth! Excellent. Oh, Moose 1 also needs more privacy. But, I think it'll be fine. Yes, I do think it'll be fine. Do we have any, did I miss something? No. Twins, again? I must say, I am surprised. Well, here we go. Crate. And put him away. Lock him up. No, 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 not like that. Not at all. He just needs to be out of the picture so they have a little bit more space to grow. I Actually, I could just expand this exhibit, but I don't have this fence. Or at least I don't think I do. I didn't have it last time. No, I don't have this concrete fence, and truth is, it appears I care more about having my zoo look nice than I do about actual having a... Wait, oh, this is Scimitar Hondor X3, I knew that. Critically endangered? There we go. Let's see, is this going to give us a slightly bigger boost? After all, it is worth more, so... Well, I'll let him drink first. Her? Him? Him. I'll let him drink first. No one needs to go on a big cross-country trip, Thirsty. Right. There we go. Goodbye, Scimitar Hornor X3. I remember, I was so proud of you when you were born. I was so proud of myself, really. And also, my African spur tortoises are hatching. <gasps> oh my goodness. As one animal leaves, more come. That's so perfect. Oh, what's up with this one? Oh, here it goes. <gasps> we get to watch it. Oh, There it is. Three brand new baby tortoises. Oh, isn't that just precious? <gasps> they're walking in a line. I mean, I guess they're they're all walking to the same place, so it's logical for them to be walking a line. Oh, African spurred tortoise for the late one. Hmm. He's my new favorite, or she. She's my new favorite. We should give her a name. Um, how about? I know naming isn't really my forte. Uh, but that sounds good enough. She's African's Forte. There we go. You know, she's the fourth one. African's Forte is four. Forte. And then, uh, just to, um, you know, this one's gonna be 3K. 3K. And this one's gonna be, um, 5K. Wait a minute. Are my guests screaming in terror? Did I hear a guest screaming in terror? Because that's what it sounded like. Grizzly Bear 3 has just grown. Oh, are they happy? Are they educated and entertained? Kind of. Well, that one is. Eric Matthews is... And he's going to buy a hamburger. Excellent. Okay, but Grizzly Bear 3... See, like, everything is happening all of a sudden. Grizzly Bear 3? It's been good, Grizzly Bear 3. It's been a good time. Least to wild. All right. All of a sudden, all my animals are growing up. My zoo is becoming more famous. Grizzly Bear One is returning to his exhibit after his long hiatus. 
that there would be enough space for his child. A noble sacrifice. Or something like that. Keeper 1, Keeper Moon, can't reach. Oh, very dirty. You dirty boy. Um, huh? My little tortoises are still trekking. Still on their way. They're going. Aha! I finally have enough money for the Komodo Dragon. So I'm going to smooth this exhibit out. I don't think the Komodo Dragon will really appreciate quite so many uh, hills. You know, a few hills are fine, but... You know, like, I'll leave that kind of ridge, but I'm going to smooth out these, like, cliff type Yeah, see, that's, that's better. Yeah, that's, that's much better, I think. Uh, I think he'll enjoy that. Oh, I just lost money? Wow, but I still have... I still have, oh no, actually this is 5,500. Um, yeah, so I don't have quite enough yet. And of course I still have to buy fish. That might be an interesting little theming bonus, kind of, not really. I mean, that's not a thing. Um, but, you know, if the penguins eat fish and the Komodo dragon, but no, the Komodo dragon eats meat. I don't know what you're talking about. And I might research this heat lamp, it's $600. I might research it later, is what I meant to say. And I actually might research this reptile pool, or maybe this scrub small burrow. Although, that's pretty expensive. But, hmm. There are no Indonesian trees. But I'll just, I'll just get this one. It's nice. I'll put it right by the water. You know, just, just because. Uh, let's see. None of these are really native to the island of Komodo. But... These two are close enough. And then, of course, the rock. The rock is warm. There we go. Perfect. I love the rock. Uh, we already did that. And we almost have enough money for... The dragon himself. I hope that's enough space. If not, I'm gonna feel embarrassed. Oh, and I do need to put the path. Yeah, I'll put the path. It's gonna cost me $120. Oh, but look! Somehow, we just got... More money? Someone's spending a lot of money on something. That's an in-joke, of course. My guests are spending a lot of money on everything, because I overpriced everything. Which, you know, is maybe kind of a rude move on my part, but... Ooh, common zebra six has just grown from young to adult. How about you? Do you feel... Oh, goodness. You do not feel okay. What about common zebra five? Is feeling better? Two, three, one, five. No, not feeling better. Well, I think maybe I'll just release these ones to the wild, you know? So we can have the popular. Ooh, more famous. I mean, or we could just leave them. You know, that's not really a problem. Alright, now it's time for the Komodo Dragon, and then I think uh, we'll be. Ooh, wait. I always get distracted. Hey, little guy. Welcome to my zoo. Here you will know nothing but love and affection from both of your emperor penguin parents. Yep. It's a male. Male emperor penguin free. Precious. I, I'm a big fan of penguins. I really am, I must say. Oh no, 5 eat! Or 5 pay? No, I think it's 5 eat. I mean, the other one is definitely 3 eat. It's not 3 pay. That's, that's not a thing. 5 eat dislikes. And 3 Oh, they're right next to all that poop. They probably just pooped it themselves. They're not potty trained yet. Oh my goodness, this is literally the cutest thing. I mean, not actually, but um, it's it's pretty cute. Oh yeah, that's that's precious. No, there, yeah. Oh, and it's happy too. Okay, well, yeah, that's so 
precious. These are my new favorite animals in this zoo. It's the baby African spur tortoise. Which one is Forte? Greet, Five Eat, and Forte. The most precious, the slow one. Alright, now I'm not going to get distracted anymore. I'm going to put the Komodo dragon. And then, this will be the end of this episode. How are you feeling? American Beaver, oh my goodness, American Beaver 1. I swear, American Beaver 1 is going to be the death of me. The death of me, American Beaver 1. You know, everyone's worried about velociraptors or lions escaping. But I'm telling you, it's going to be American Beaver 1. Maybe Common Zebra 5. I'm not sure. Oh, that is not where I wanted to go. Common Zebra 5. Uh-huh. Yep, and Common Zebra 6. Yep. One. It's one of you. One of these two. Got it. Hang on. And four. Come on, come on, it's right there. All right, yes, Common Zebra 6 is still not happy. Uh, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna go check out my Komodo dragon. Eating. Ah! American Beaver 1 has died of old age! Well, that's tragic. Truly, truly tragic. Uh, ooh, and Common Zebra 2 is now pregnant. Well, well, uh, you know, this is a, a tragic day for our zoo, but maybe not quite so tragic for me. It means that now we have this wetlands exhibit for me to do whatever I want with. I am a bit disappointed that he never got to play with his beaver sticks. But we'll have to... We'll have to put a fitting, a fitting animal in this exhibit to, to remember him by, or something like that, that my guests will believe, because the truth is I always hated that bastard beaver. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's, that's none, of, none of their business. That's, that's just a me thing. Anyway, uh, I guess uh, this is adios for now. Adios, American Beaver 3. And, um, and uh, I'll see I'll see these guys next time. And we're only at two and a half star, but uh, no no big deal. We'll uh, we'll get there. You know, it's it's just uh, yeah. <clears throat> Adios.